Hey everyone, I am coming to you today from my car, and um, I, I'm i in Rhode Island, which is the other side of the country, um, visiting friends and family on a trip, and um, I'm doing a uh, whole big comic tour, and hoping to find some comics that I have on a list here um, and just seeing if I can find some other good deals of like hot comics that are out and so I mostly just wanted to take you all on a tour of all that today um, and so I almost I think I have like seven days and 24 shops that I want to go to that is um <laughs> it's a lot of shops but I'm going to see if I can actually do it. Um, I've kind of like started mapping out where I can go based on the day and what days the shops are open and whatnot and just to see if I can find anything. Um, so I gave myself like a pretty decent budget here mostly because I'm borrowing the car I'm in so I'm saving the money on a car rental that I can put towards some books and I'm gonna see if I can um, either score some of the newer hotter books so i'm looking for some like something is killing the children lower issues um for cheap um some stray dogs for cheap and um and then i'm always looking at just some comics i need to finish some of my um current runs and so that would be ms marvel um, i'm also grabbing nova so from the 70s and then um what else was i looking for um any, like, I'm looking up for a lot of like 70s, 80s books um, to see if I can find some good prices and ones that are in like probably like minty condition. Um, not, I probably won't find like nine eights, but you never know. Um, so it's it's going to be a total gamble because some of the shops I've been before since when I come out here, and then other ones I've just never been to, so I don't know really what to expect. And so I will try my best to kind of highlight the store that I'm going to. Um, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to go into the store, um, but I'll try to get something outside of the store and then I will show you if I got anything um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm probably gonna break up this video since it's probably gonna be super long um, into different parts. And so let's see. So I'm off to the first store and then we'll go from there. Okay, first store is Fantasy Zone Comics. So this was a store that I went to when I was a kid. So they have a lot of older books. So let's see if I can actually find anything good here. Um, I know they've gotten smaller over the years, but it's sort of like the only store that's in um, Southern New England. So let's see what I got. I was able to score all these books for 25% off, so didn't find too many things on my list, but I found some books that weren't expensive at all. So Excalibur 1, um, this is going in my Nova run, Totally Awesome Hulk 16, New Mutants Annual 1, BAM! New Mutants Annual 2, so was, this is probably the, the score out of the whole thing. Um, Once in Future, um, number 13, one per store, uh, X-Men 150, uh, Infinity War number one, and that's it. Our next shop is Times Capsule Comics in Cranston, Rhode Island. So let's see what we find here. Um, I scored the first appearance of the Sentinels X-Men here a couple years ago, so i um, curious to see what else I find. Didn't do as well as I thought, but I did get Stray Dogs for the, I don't know what print this is now, <laughs> uh, three and one. This is a little bit harder in the card. <laughs> uh, Nova number 18, this was half off. Number 19. Uh, Dazzler 22, this is an early rogue appearance, so this takes place sort of after Avengers Annual 10. 
um, Nova number four, so it's a, a Thor issue. And then um, New Mutants 32, which is the first uh, appearance of Metropore. So um, one more store, and that'll be it for the day for me. Okay, last stop for our Coco's Collectibles. That one was a little bit of a dud. Uh, they had limited space due to COVID, so you couldn't really enter and like look at any of the books, and all their new books were behind the counter. Um, so I had mostly had to like ask them for what they had. Um, but I was able to score Once in Future number 9, the second print. Once in Future number 10, first print. And then, um, Sword number 7. I think this is an incentive. Um, correct me, I might be wrong there. But, um, I know I don't have it because I know it's the newest issue. But that's what I grabbed there. Um... So I'm uh, I'm done for today. I think um, it was a little it was okay. I, you know I found the first Betsy product, New Mutants Annual two, and some other little minor books and stuff to fill my collection. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a bit of a, a longer ride to the like northeastern side of Rhode Island. I'm on the western side and see if I find anything there. Um, some of the, there's one place that specifically specializes in Silver Age, and so, um, we'll see. I looked at their website, they had a bunch of stuff, so I'm hoping maybe to make some bigger purchases tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, we're at Time Capsule Comics in Seekonk, Massachusetts. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so this is what I scored at the shop. A lot of new stuff, but there's a nice hidden gem in here that I got for cheap. So this one is apparently trending right now. This is the gem. So I got this for 10 bucks. Been looking for it for a while. And then an upgrade of Ms. Marvel number 11. On to the next shop. Okay, last stop. East Bay Comics in Warren, Rhode Island. Did okay there. Nothing super high end, but grabbed some stuff, so. Some Mariner number two. Number seven. This was a nice find. X Men number seven. Great cover. Probably mid grade, mid low. Uh, and then whenever I see this, I grab it. Wolverine 10. So that's it for the day. I am in Newport, Rhode Island, visiting NX Comics. So, um,. It's a gallery, but also comic book store, so let's see what they got here. Uh, that was a total dud. Um, the store had some new issues, but um, it, was, it was a little weird because it was so humid in there that all the comics were curling, um, so they had no AC in there. And then I asked if they had any older issues, and they were like, what are you talking about? Why would we ever do sell that in the store versus... Um, <laughs> online and so I was like you never know sometimes you find this stuff in person so that was a I would say fail <laughs> I found stuff in most stores and um, they were like picked clean very disorganized there was piles of shit everywhere I didn't have the patience to go through that in like a 90 degree store with like 100% humidity to find some mid-grade to low-grade books so I think that wraps our um, Rhode Island, New England part. Yes, Rhode Island, Southern Massachusetts um, Comic Con. So tomorrow um, I'm gonna head up to Massachusetts and hit up a bunch of stores there for a couple of days. And that looks a little more promising.